Okay, in this video I'd like to code another test to determine whether we can build the units in the game and that test is going to be about triggers so what we're going to do is add a trigger collider to both the unit in the game itself and the ghost unit okay so if we add trigger colliders to both of these things and they collide then we cannot build in the game if they do not collide then we can build because we know it'll be an empty space so the first thing we need to do is add triggers to the units, the solar, the solar farm, the wooden post and uh, then add the trigger to the ghost unit when we create it. But what about our robots and the humanoid robots? Well we don't need to worry about these units because they have character controllers and our trigger event within our ghost objects will be able to communicate with this and um, collide with these units so we don't have to worry about these. Okay, but if we hop over to the box collider class in Unity Documents, um, it tells us that a trigger collider can only collide with another trigger if there is a rigid body attached to it as well. Okay, so in other words, we need to attach a rigid body to our units, not our robot, our wooden post, and our solar farm, and also we need to attach a rigid body to the ghost unit. So either this green unit or this one. So the first thing to add the uh, colliders and the rigid body to the units in the game is not uh, is not a problem. We can do this right away. Uh, we can add a rigid body to our solar farm. We're not going to use gravity, and also a box collider. So let's just make a, um, a very rough shape. Our select mesh is getting in the way, so I'm just going to deactivate that. We can also turn off the lights in our scene so we can see it better. Uh, I'm going to just change the shape a little bit, let's bring it out, bring this one inwards, let's have a look in the Y, doesn't have to be too tall I don't think. Cool, so this is the area that uh, we're going to collide with and uh, simple as that really, so we need this to be a trigger and we can turn the lights back on now. So this is the solar farm setup complete. We can then go and replace the prefab. Same thing with the wooden post. So let's just go over to this one for example. So this wooden post already has a box collider. Don't know why it has a box collider. We didn't need it before but we can change it to a trigger and uh, we can also add a rigid body to this. We don't need gravity. And uh, the last thing is to replace it in our prefabs. Cool. So now we have this set up we can then go ahead and add a trigger collider and a rigid body to the ghost object so, and we can do this using C sharp so within our menu setup script where we instantiate the ghost object we can add these components so the first thing we should add is the is the rigid body so ghost add component rigid body and uh, we don't want to use gravity otherwise the object will fall to the ground and probably through the terrain if it's intersecting so ghost gets component rigid body use gravity equals false so this is the only thing we need to do with the rigid body we can then add the box collider add component box collider and we need to store this collider so we can access it easier. So box collider box equals cast it as a box collider. So once we have this we could say box is trigger equals true. And we can also change the center and the size of this. So the size needs to be exactly the same as the unit size. So if I go into the wood post, this, these are the size vector 3 values. So we can get these values from the unit itself. So we can say box size equals unit get component box collider size cool so we can also do this to the center as well unit get component box collider center so we're just duplicating basically the the um, values from our box collider into our ghost object and it will be exactly the same cool so um, we have the components we need. Let's play the game and see if everything works. So adding a solar panel to the game. Going to pause the game and find it. So it's here. 
As you can see we have a rigid body attached to this now and also the box collider is a trigger and if we turn off the lights the collider matches the same shape as the unit itself. So that's cool, we now have the setup to do the test. So in order to carry out the test and record the collision and everything I'm going to create a new script. So like we did with the height points uh, test we can create another script for another test. Let's call it ghost test trigger. Okay, and um, just to keep things consistent, I'm going to change the height points script to ghost test height points. Okay, so we need to do two things just change the name within the class itself, like so, without zooming in, and within the menu setup, do the same thing. So change the height points component to ghost test height points. And we also need to add the script we just created which is ghost test triggers or trigger. So within our ghost test trigger script we just need to test for the collision itself and to do that we can use the on trigger enter function. We're going to bring in the collider and then we can just test to see if it works in this video. So we can just say if the collider uh, transform game object layer is layer mask name to layer unit if we are colliding with the unit layer then we can just debug log collider transform name just gets in the unit name so let's just go back and see if everything works so selecting the solar panel and I'm going through the wooden post and my console is actually debugging wood post now it's debugging the two robots that's really good and also the solar farm Okay, so there's one more thing I want to address in this video, which is the other objects in the game that are not units, such as the wind turbine. So this wind turbine already has a collider onto it, and it also has a rigid body, so that's good. Again, we don't want to use gravity, we want the box collider to be a trigger. So within our on trigger enter script, we can just copy this bit of code and paste it and say or we, uh, we collide with the obstacle layer then also debug the name so this lets the script know that we cannot build if we are colliding with the wind turbine okay so let's just test things out let's do the wooden post this time and as you can see we've collided with the turbine so we should not be able to build here okay so I think I'll leave the the UFO for now haven't finished with that yet, we'll be dealing with that later on, but it's out of the way so the units cannot collide with it at this moment in time. Cool, so I think that's all I wanted to address in this video. Thanks for watching, hopefully I'll see you in the next one when we finish this test.